What's up guys, how are we doing? Just wanna tell you how it went doing my extended swing arms on my Wolf GT. As you can see, these are extended swing arms. And um, if you want to get them, you have to go on the forum on uh, Facebook, Wolf King GT Riders Forum. And um, <clears throat> there's actually some guy in Russia that you contact through Telegram that custom makes these. And it sounds crazy, but uh, it works. So I know there's been at least five to 10 people who have done this. So I decided to do it because I want to put 12 inch tires on the rear and I guess you can put 12 inch tires but you got to make some modifications but with these guys you can go up to 13 or 14 but I'm not going to do that because um, it's not very good for it um, however 12 inch tires will fit beautifully back here now and then the front there's no issues with 12 inch tires um, so a couple of things that I ran into let me explain how, how you do this because if you're going to go this route you're going to want to know um, one thing I had to do was, um, well, there's a lot of things I had to do. So, things I didn't know is you have to remove this whole piece, this frame piece. You have to take that off. And how you do that is you have to open the deck. Okay, so first thing I do is open the deck. And then um, there's a nut. These bolts, one here, one here, go all the way through. And there's a 10 millimeter nut on the other side. And that's tricky to get to, but you can do it. Um, and once you back those all the way out, this whole piece comes off as one. You just pull it straight back, and it comes off as one piece. The reason why you need to do that is because you need to get to this 8 millimeter bolt shaft that goes through the whole scooter right here. If you don't do that, you can't get to it, and you can't take off your swing arm. So after you pull that, um, next thing you're going to want to do is is because, because this is about man i don't even know this is like two and a half inches longer maybe the whole swing arm you're going to need more cable you're going to need more brake cable and you're going to need more motor cable and so the motor cable is not the worst thing in the world but the brake cable is kind of tight right now um but it's i got it the routing under here is pretty tight um the brake cable comes on this side it comes around here and then it goes that way and how you create room is in this location right here. You take off these covers and you, because there's normally a bigger bend in this cable, there's excess wire here. So you can kind of feed it. You take off this guy. These things you just unwind right here, this little cover. You just unwind this um, and then you feed more down into this area and then you pull it from the other side. And that's how you create more cable. You only need about two, three inches worth, but even that's kind of tricky to do. Once you do that, you pull your motor cable through the deck. You just pull it, and then you do the same thing with the brake cable. You pull it, and then you gotta feed it, and then, then you gotta route it back into there and get your battery down in there. If you're wondering how to get your battery out, because it's very tight in here, not a lot of room at all you can use a dent puller or i've heard of some people even using um some people even using uh plungers so some people use plungers. Give me some. some people use, use plungers to get the battery out i use the dent puller um you can find it on ebay Hold on a second let's see if i can find it no i think it's in the house um but anyways, anyways, you just stick a little dent puller or suction on that thing, however you want to do it, and then you just pull it up, and then it'll come out. But without suction, it's hard to get that dang battery out. Okay, um, okay, one more thing I had to do. So after you get under there, pull the wires, and you're ready to install the swing arms. I, Not everybody has this issue, but I had this issue. This brake mount right here, it would not seat all the way down on the back. So I couldn't get this bolt to line up. The front bolt went in, but the back bolt was like hitting the swing arm. And so what I had to do was take a Dremel. I had to take a Dremel and Dremel um, the brake 
mount on the bottom to create more room so it could seat lower. Once I did that, I was able to get this bolt in and I was uh, ready to go. So yeah, these are two shafts that go through. They're just two eight millimeters. That's not even, I just wanted to share with you the difficult parts. So be ready for all that. If you have any questions, uh, let me know. But it's gonna be worth it once you go 12 inch tires and you do this. Talk to you guys later.